The god Maui, legendary throughout Polynesia for strength and fearlessness, cast his fishing hook deep into the Pacific Ocean and with divine might pulled out our island kingdom of Tonga. Tonga is a nation of 170 islands, two-thirds of the way between Hawaii and Australia. Our islands have seen many changes since our seafaring ancestors first landed on our shores some 3,500 years ago. Our oral histories tell of turbulence caused by wars and invasions. Our written histories record the upheaval caused by the arrival of trade ships and Christian missionaries in the 17th century. Our recent history documents the changes brought by Queen Salote's four-decade reign when she stopped foreign business from entering the country. Today, we see even more change with the influx of automobiles driving on Western-styled roads, playing American rap music on FM national radio. We are a proud people with familial bonds to the land. We believe that through loyalty to kinship and through the mercy of God, we continue to retain and own our sovereignty. Our independence has helped us maintain and nurture sacred traditional practices. In spite of Christian biases and Western medicine's attempt to disregard our native healing practices, Traditional healers known as Gao Fai To'o continue to play an integral part in contemporary Tongan society. Our children are first acquainted with Tongan medicine, Fai To'o Fakatonga, when in the womb. They are soothed by the hands and voice of the Ma'uli, or midwife, as she massages the mother's stomach and assures her about the new life within. Kiu Anitoni is a Maoli who comes from a legacy of at least five generations of midwives. Although there is a lack of written history, it is likely that midwives have been in her family for centuries. She too has shared this knowledge with her two daughters, Golo and Lamona. <laughs> None of the healers you will see accept payment for their services. The ability to heal is believed to be a gift from God. To charge money for it would be shameful. In direct contrast to the Western policy of services rendered, payment made, the Tongan way is one of gratitude and gift giving upon successful completion of treatment. Golo, Kyu's eldest daughter, explains the process of delivery. Ehau 
The standard treatment given a patient by a midwife is a massage of tongue and oil, which is a mixture of coconut oil and herbal extracts. The ma'uli applies the oil to the expectant mother's stomach and lower back. These women participate in daily labors and duties, such as weaving of mats, cooking, and washing clothes, in addition to their responsibilities as a healer. Kiu is 83 years old. As a young mother, Kiu apprenticed with her mother. When her mother passed away, Kiu began her own practice. Expected mothers from Ta'anea and other nearby villages visit Kiu for consultation and to receive the massage treatment referred to as hikikete. Many people find themselves balancing between traditional and Western-style medicine. The healers see the value of both systems and quietly work servicing those aspects of healthcare that remain underserved by the Western system. La Mona and Kolo learned how to be midwives by watching their mother practice from the time they were little girls. When La Mona and Kolo became mothers, they began apprenticing with Gyu until they were proficient enough to practice on their own. Sione Anitoni, Kiu's husband, assists her by making the vaihaka she will prescribe to her patients. Along in years, he will send family members like his son-in-law, Simeone, on frequent visits into the bush to harvest the barks that he uses for making medicine. Simeone carefully removes just enough bark for his needs. Enough bark is left to allow the tree to regenerate without any harm.
Tiane follows directions that have been handed down from generations through Kiu's family. Scraping, boiling, chopping, straining, mixing. Tsione brews the medicines necessary for his family and his community. The medicine is made from the bark of several trees, including toi, manonu, nonu, dopata, and fao. Little babies are so fragile, it is our responsibility to protect them and give them the very best care we can. The healer knows how to make the ancient recipes for mixing plants and herbs to make medicine for the baby. Here, several mothers have brought their babies to Faleata, a specialist in baby care. She extracts the medicines she needs from plants such as Lao Tolutahi. Children will be children wherever you go in this world. On our island, our children are encouraged to play hard and grow strong. Unfortunately, childhood is full of hazards, but we in Tonga are prepared for that. Massage therapists assist in the healing of the bruised muscles, sprained joints, broken bones, and abrasions common among our young ones. This is Viliami Atemaile, a well-respected massage therapist in the village of Sopu. He learned his healing skills from his father, who in turn learned from his Fijian mother. Historically, alliances in war and intermarriage brought about an exchange of healing arts between Fijian healers from the Lao Island group and Tongan healers. This morning, William is visited by a father and his young boy. The boy injured his elbow while playing with friends. Now it is up to Viliami to help him heal correctly. Anciently, an injury such as this could ruin a boy's future on the island. A boy who could not fish or farm became a burden on a village. While he was still cared for by his family, he was not considered fit for marriage or starting a family on his own. The massage therapist, therefore, was a vital part of every village. The massage helps relax and strengthen the muscles around the injured elbow. A little discomfort now will pay off with a healthy arm in the future. <laughs> this is a teenager who broke his leg while playing rugby. The Yami is concerned not only about the injured muscles and joints, but also about the possibility of infection. Before the days of modern medications, the massage therapist was instrumental in staving off infections that would otherwise cripple or kill a patient. The boy tries his best to hide his pain. In Tonga, the ability to withstand physical pain is still an important part of our culture. The distressed look on his face conceals the true agony he must feel as tender muscles and raw wounds are rubbed. The massaging helps improve circulation and reduce the time needed for healing. The oils contain botanical extracts that promote healing while killing infection. As Tongan youth reach adulthood, they are expected to marry. Anxious grandparents want grandchildren, and few parents wait long to begin their families. Children are the treasure of their parents, and when a couple has problems with pregnancy, they seek out the help of a fertility specialist. 
Mele Mahi is a traditional fertility specialist. Mele is 68 years old and learned to be a healer from her grandparents who practice in the island group of Ha'apai. On this afternoon, a young couple along with an anxious mother-in-law come for a visit. Using local plants and following ancient ritual, Mele prepares the fertility medicine for the childless couple. The medicine consists of heilala and uhi leaves rubbed together and then mixed with the meat of an old coconut. The medicine should taste a little sour. <laughs> Mela strains the medicine through lemongrass and then through a piece of cloth. <laughs> the young couple drink their medicine and take the remainder with them in a bottle. They, like many hopeful young couples, have faith in the knowledge and experience of the fertility expert. For many couples, the treatments prove effective and the childless return generation after generation. As certain as the sun must rise, it must also set. For us in the evening of our lives, we have no fear. There are beautiful things to be experienced at the sunset that cannot be seen at any other time of day. Old age strikes us here on Tonga like it does all people. We have no cure for that. But we do not fear growing old here. The elders hold a place of respect within the community. Besides, what a joy it is to see your many children, grandchildren,